So here's a game I'm not any good at. Not that that's unusual. It's Cosmic Raiders for the Astrocade. Cosmic Raiders is a good name for a video game. But is the gameplay good enough to deserve a cool name too? Something like Asparagus Q Albatross the Third? Cosmic Raiders is a scrolling shooter that bears a lot of resemblance to Defender, although you don't have to rescue anyone from the surface of the planet, allowing you to focus your full attention on shooting stuff. But you do still have a radar like Defender, so it's easy to find the stuff you have to shoot. In this game you're either on a mission to the sector of space known as Larkin, trying to capture energy sources that were taken by the dreaded Larkins, or the evil force known as Larkin is attacking your base planet. So I'm not sure if you're going to visit Larkin or if they're coming to visit you, but wherever you meet up, there's going to be a battle. And it will be good. The Larkins have a wide array of ships. They've got a fighter, another fighter, another fighter. Okay, they're all fighters, but different types. Some are equipped with weapons, others are content to just chase you down and smash into you. You score varying amounts of points depending on which fighter you destroy, and in order to move on to the next stage, you have to shoot down a specific number of fighters, as shown here. Another way to score is by blowing up the four bombs that are released at the start of each wave. These slowly fall towards the planet, and if they hit before you can shoot them, the screen flashes red and there's a huge explosion sound, but it doesn't kill you or anything. But you do want to try to shoot all of them, not just for points, but also because you get bonus energy stars at the end of the wave by destroying enough of them. Energy stars float in the air, and if you fly into one, you get a temporary energy shield that makes you invulnerable. The energy stars become indispensable as the game gets more difficult. You want to try to wait until there's a good amount of fighters near an energy star and then fly into it and go on a destructive kamikaze run. I really like this gameplay element. It's a fun alternative to having a screen clearing smart bomb. The graphics in Cosmic Raiders are pretty good. I, I like the color of the planet and the variety of designs and animations for the enemies is nice to see. All objects besides your ship tend to move a little choppily though, and when there's a ton of stuff happening, it seems to get choppier still, which makes it hard sometimes to navigate through all of it. The sounds are typically excellent astrocade sounds, strident and powerful. The only issue I have is that the sounds cut each other off, and when you're using your invincibility shield, sometimes the audio cue letting you know that it's about to run out is obscured by other crazy sound effects. One thing that can be confusing about Cosmic Raiders is the low flight ceiling. You can't fly right to the top of the screen, and if I superimpose this rectangle to crudely show how this game is cropped on my standard def TV, you can see even then that there's a lot of empty space at the top that you can't reach. And with no visual indication of where this height limit is, you can get caught sometimes by thinking you can fly higher to avoid something, when in reality you can't. As you play more, you'll mostly get used to it, but it'll still get me once in a while. Cosmic Raiders is a pretty challenging game. The footage in this video was played at difficulty levels 4 and 5, but they go all the way up to 9. There seems to be a fairly big jump in difficulty from level 4 to 5, so levels 3 to 4 are more my speed. But I think it's got enough challenge or easiness to accommodate most players. Cosmic Raiders is a fun, Defender-inspired game with good graphics, great sound, challenging gameplay, and a cool name. And definitely worthy of being displayed on your television, which will no doubt appreciate all the explosive firepower that Cosmic Raiders provides.